Hello everyone and welcome back to Life of Ryan. It has been a while, I must admit. Terribly sorry that I didn't post a video last week. Unfortunately, I got quite sick over the weekend and I just simply could not function. However, here we are, Sunday evening, and I am about to show you what I've bought at the antique shop in the previous video. So, if you haven't seen the previous video, I did go antique shopping with my good friend Billy and I just so happened to buy. I know it makes a difference, usually I don't buy stuff, but I did buy three items and I'm very excited to show you today. So the price that I spent in this antique shop was 95 euros and one of the items is 55 euros, one of the items cost 30 euros, and one of the items cost just 10 euros. So I don't wanna keep you waiting very long. Without further ado, let's just get right into it and I will show you the goods that I bought in the antique shop. All right, let's start from the most expensive, shall we? Here it is, the first thing that I bought in the antique shop. That's right, it is the antique copper pot uh, that was featured in the previous video when we went to the antique shop. What I do like about this item is that it has the initials MA both on the lid and the pot. Now those are not my initials but uh, I do like to see initials uh, on items. I find it very nice that they're personalized in such a way. Now the handles on this are absolutely huge and lovely and it's a heavy item so you can tell that it's really good quality in fact i do have a confession to make i don't actually know much about copper but billy does have a very good copper collection that's my good friend here in france and he actually recommended that i should buy this item in fact i'll probably end up just giving it to him because he is way more passionate about copper than i am but just to give a little bit more history about copper in France, they've been making copper here in France for hundreds of years and obviously you can buy new copper or low quality copper which will be much much cheaper but it really is undesirable. Uh, the good thick good quality stuff, uh, antique, rare, old, that's what's desirable obviously. Um, so yeah, I like this item and at the price of 55 euros, I think it was definitely a great purchase for something that's uh, antique and uh, good quality for what it is. Moving on to the next item. Now item number two is without a doubt my favourite item uh, that I bought at the antique shop and let me show you. Okay, this is the box, alright. Do you know what it is yet? Probably not. You still probably don't know what it is yet, unless you can read that. But let me open it up and then you will know what it is. Okay. The box is made of cardboard and this item comes from Paris. Okay. You ready? Oh, look at that. Do you know what that is? Now again, you probably do not know what this is. Actually, you might. Let me, let me help you out a little bit. That's right, it's a folding top hat. Can you believe it? Let's get it on. There we go. How do I look? Do I look good? I can barely fit in the frame, it's so tall. <laughs> so yeah, this is definitely my favorite purchase and at just 30 euros, that's right, I paid just 30 euros for this. I think this was an absolute bargain. Now, it doesn't quite fit my head. Like, I don't know how comfortable top hats are supposed to be, but it won't, it won't flick off, so it's a decent fit. Um, it wasn't quite made for me, but what I really like about this is, of course, it folds up flat. Let me show you. There we go, and there we go. So you do have to apply a little bit of pressure to get it to fold up flat, but it does indeed fold up flat. It has its own mechanism uh, within the, the hat that folds and unfolds, and I can't get enough of it. Ah, there we go. <laughs> you gotta give it quite a bit of force. Uh, but what makes this hat very special is obviously 
apart from the folding up mechanism, it also has its original box, the original paper that sat in the box, and it has the maker's mark of the uh, atelier which made the hat in Paris uh, on the inside of the hat. So uh, it has some uh, provenance and you know where it came from, which is something I absolutely love. It's not every day you see top hats. It's not every day you see folding top hats. It's not every day you see folding top hats with the box, the original box. So at 30 euros, I think this is probably an absolute steal and uh, I'm very happy with my purchase. So here is the last item that I happened to purchase at the antique shop for just 10 euros. Can you believe it? That is incredibly cheap. Now you probably still don't know what this is, but uh, let's just look at the cover for a second. Now on the front you can tell it has a beautiful Art Deco uh, design. It's very nice indeed. And on the back you can see it says uh, Cliché Archive Photographique d'Art et d'Histoire in the corner. Reproduction, reproduction, excuse me, interdite, uh, which means uh, you're not allowed to reproduce the images contained within this booklet. And uh, that there is obviously the editor, the maker of whatever is in here. So I'm guessing that you, you have guessed yourself also. Uh, photographs, but what type of photographs? Let's find out, shall we? So first of all, this is dated and this is one of the reasons why I bought it. It says Paris, December 1934, which makes this 88 years old. Uh, it's a miracle that it's still around really. And have a look at this beautiful photo of uh, the Hôtel de Ville of Paris, which I do believe is unfortunately burned down now. Um, but looking at the back, it is actually a postcard. That's right. So the this item is um, a collection of postcards of Paris, of the monuments in Paris. Another wonderful postcard there. That is a tower. Which tower is that? Does anyone know? Because I don't, I'll be honest with you. That is the Tour Saint-Jacques. Tour Saint-Jacques. Aha! Do you know what this is? This is the Palais du Louvre. That's right, the Louvre. Yeah, it looks very different than it does today. Or a little bit different at least. Do you know what this is? This is the, I'm just thinking, sorry, that's why I'm being silent. I believe this is the Théâtre National de l'Opéra, which is the, uh, the Opera House in Paris. And I'm just going to check the back to make sure I'm right. Yes, I am correct. Okay, now this is a very famous building in Paris too. Uh, I always recognise it, but I never remember the name because I am quite a dum-dum. To be honest, it's the Église de la Madeleine. The Église de la Madeleine. There you go. I never remember that. Aha! This is a famous um, part of Paris. This is the Place uh, Place Concorde. The Concorde. Place de la Concorde, I should say. A place of the Concorde. Now you know exactly what this is. This is, of course, the Arc de Triomphe, which is extremely famous. Um, a easily recognisable landmark all throughout the world. However, I do have to say, the roundabout that surrounds the Arc de Triomphe is an absolute nightmare to navigate. So if you do go and visit, I recommend you do not drive, just get a taxi instead and go around it a few times. Pay the man to take you around the Arc de Triomphe, it's much easier. Um, this here, uh, I'm going to be honest, I don't actually know what this is. I have no idea what this is. Yeah, there you go. So let's find out together. It's the Palais du Trocadéro. The Palais du Trocadéro. So there you go. Don't I feel dumb? I think I must have skipped about two, but I don't know. I'm so sorry uh, that I didn't know those two. Um, this here is the Eiffel Tower. That's very easy. And uh, it's very beautiful, actually. This is probably my favorite postcard for obvious reasons in the collection. What else we got? 
What on earth is that? Where is this? I do not know. I do not know where this is. I'm, I'm, I'm losing my marbles. It's the Chapelle des Invalides. Are you serious? Invalide. The Chapelle des Invalides. There you go. Did you know that? Because I didn't. Come on. I'm not that good at geography. Um, again, this looks very similar to the uh, the other place that we uh, we just saw, but it's probably not the same place. Am I right? No, it's not. It's the Palais Bourbon. The Palais Bourbon. There you go. What on earth is this? Uh, uh, to be honest, I've given up at this point. Looks a bit like Versailles, to be honest, but it's definitely not Versailles. <laughs> uh, what is it? That's the Palais du Luxembourg. That's right, that there is the Palais du Luxembourg. Did you know that? Or am I just an idiot? Uh, again, this is an, another very nice building. Uh, I'm just giving up now, I don't even know where this is. Let's have a look. Oh, that's the Pantheon! That's the Pantheon, of course, that's the Pantheon! Ryan, you're so stupid! Okay, what's this one? This, uh, what is this? Uh, that's definitely not Notre Dame, I can promise you that. It looks like the, uh, what is it, Saint-Chapelle Saint uh, something? Saint-Chapelle something, I know it's like a famous chapel in Paris. Saint-Chapelle du Palais, there you go, Saint-Chapelle du Palais. Did I, was I supposed to know that? I don't know. Uh, by the way, we didn't study any, any of this in, in school in France in geography. We didn't study Parisian monuments. So um, yeah, this is all based off the back of my own kind of personal knowledge. What's this building? I don't know, there's a bridge in front of it. I give up. This is the Palais de Justice. Okay, so if you got in trouble back in the day, this is where you'd end up. The Palais de Justice, probably, to, to be um, sentenced. There you go, okay. So, very good monuments of Paris. Some I knew, some I didn't. Am I an idiot? Sort of. So there you have it, that there is the antique shopping hall all wrapped up. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the items that I bought at the antique shop, uh, just to go over them. You've got the copper pan, pot, pan, really? The copper pot, the uh, top hat, and of course the postcards that you just saw. I'd love to uh, know what is your favorite item out of the three. Uh, what do you think of the price that I paid for each item? Or have I just wasted 95 euros of my hard-earned coin? Uh, let me know in the comment section. It's always a pleasure to hear from you down below. Uh, so that's it, that's all from me. Uh, I should say that I am planning on releasing a few more videos this week to make up for the lack of videos the last couple of weeks. So do stay tuned for that. We'll be exploring a few French locations. It's gonna be nice and light-hearted, good bit of fun. Hopefully you will enjoy it. Um, yeah, always, always enjoy uh, making these videos and I certainly do uh, appreciate your support. So thank you so much. Oh, one last thing. Let me know what you thought of the, the set, uh, you know, with the, the light in the background and the brick work there. Yeah, let me know, is it nice or shall I never make a video like this ever again <laughs> I, I look forward to hearing your feedback in the comment section that's all from me i'm gonna love you and leave you now and i'll see you in the next video bye bye